Hi, this is Sean, and this is a quick tutorial for setting up your level so that you can, in development, switch between the first-person shooter and the VR motion controller. Um, the reason I'm, I'm sharing this is that there are times when I have to work on a machine where I don't have access to the Vive, and I want to get the feel of the environment with the first-person uh, shooter character. So this is a, a quick way to do it that I've been using. And I'm, I'm interested in feedback for how to do this a little bit more elegantly in blueprints. But anyways, this uh, method works. So the first thing that you'd wanna do is create a template, a VR template, and then also create a first person shooter template. And then go into the first person shooter. So this is the first person shooter template. Go into the content folder and then copy the first person and first person blueprint uh, folders and paste them into the content folder of your VR template. Okay. And then the second stage is that you go into the config and copy the config, uh, the INI files and paste them into the config, but, but don't just paste them in because uh, you, you want to be able to get both of these uh, sets of controls. So I created two folders here, the first person shooter I and I, and then just paste those in here. And if you want, you can create a, a backup of the VR I and I files um, and just pay, you know, paste those in here. So now um, you can go in and uh, if you want, you can um, copy the first person shooter and paste that into the root of the, the config so that when you launch your game, you look under the settings, project settings, and the inputs, and you'll see the this is the first person shooter sets of inputs. And so then if you want the VR uh, settings, the controls, the default controls back, uh, you can just copy and paste those INI files and it will reset the um, the VR controls. All right, so then um, if you hit play right now, um, the it's still sort of routing to the uh, motion controller character, motion controller pawn, I should say. Uh, and so how do you set up the first person character in here? Well, go into the first person blueprint and drop in the character. Uh, I, I hid the 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 gun, and but um, anyways. Uh, it's still, if you hit play, it'll still route to the uh, motion controller character. So the way you can get this to default to the first person shooter is you select the first person character, uh, scroll down under pawn, and you can turn on auto possess player, player zero. And now if you hit play, um, yep, you can move around and uh, you know you can shoot stuff if you have the gun set up and turned on. Uh, so that's pretty much it. Um, I will recreate this video as I um, set up, get a better setup for how to route the controls, maybe create a bunch of switches or something like that. But for now, uh, this works for development purposes, uh, switching between machines so that you have access to the first person uh, shooter blueprint and also the VR motion controller blueprint. All right, awesome. Thanks so much for watching.